Hello YouTube, it's me, Greenminer13, doing a few of the Plants vs. Zombies extras. We have Zen Garden, no plants. We've got everything done, see, you can do redo adventure. I'll have 16 up, you can see the boss. Um, now we shall start. We will do the I Zombies, that is my favorite by far. And I already did a few of them. So, I already did these three, so I'm going to redo them for you. In I Zombie, you get to be the zombies and plant them accordingly. Um, you get sun for eating sunflowers. And that's pretty much it. You just, you pay, as you see, for the sun. And voila. It's easy to plant normal zombies in rows that are going to be the toughest, e easiest, sorry to get through. Um, this one's my least favorite because I don't really like the footballer, but that's whatever. Um, and you get a little bit of money when you do this. Uh, you get a gold coin, silver coin, or a diamond. It's random when you eat the brain. When you eat all five on a new wave, you get a diamond. On a um, Old wave, you just get five gold coins, which is 50. So you get 250 if this is a wave that you are not familiar with, sort of. Anyway, don't mind me just planting a lot of these guys since it's the last wave. I don't know. Bored. And we will go through these as many as possible. I don't know why people do short ones. Anyway, this is the main idea to it. Voila, see, you get five gold coins. I would have gotten a diamond if I... You'll see later. I zombie too. Get to use the screen door. I always figured the least basic, like if you use a normal zombie, you get less effects. I don't know. I don't know. Wish I did, but I don't really know the basis of the coins and everything. I know that the bucket heads can take care of practically everything by themselves half the time. You can win just by using them. And, yeah, Bucketheads, they're a butt to get rid of. Hate them so much. And look at that, another f 250. Booyah, son. And, wow. We do, can you dig it? Usually this is quite simple. Now, the digger cannot be placed under a mine or a sh other form of uh, we gotta do this. Now, if the split pea was in the back row in any way, I probably would get it then, but it's not, so. Best way to deal with the mines and basic zombie, then a buckethead. Because they're indestructible. Almost indestructible, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna send him. There we go. Send him. And that will do it for us. This match is over. 
I ain't got no offense. And there's a zombie on each row that I actually did this once. And there was the top row had a brain on it, and I didn't have any sun left. I was I thought I got it, and I didn't, and I wasn't. I felt like such an idiot. Anyway, yeah, the I like the eye zombies. It's creative. You get to get some zombie strategy in the Xbox version of Plants vs Zombies. You can actually play two player, and one player would be the zombies. It'd be versus, which be quite interesting. Now let's watch, the, let's do this, totally nuts, where we get the ladder guys, enough to plant a single ladder, where would we plant it, top row, you'd be able to eat through one of them, plant a normal zombie, let's do the top and bottom row. All right, let's do the fume. I want to see how close he'll get. Got through this. That problem. Plant a zombie on both of them. Hopefully, that'll speed up this process. Just to reestablish my defense as a zombie is. And voila. And we are victorious. I don't know. This is my question for all those watching my mini, my I zombie challenge thing. See, you get a trophy, get a diamond. Um, for all those watching, I have a question for you. Do snow peas do less damage than the normal, um, snow, the snow pea and the pea shooter? They're identical. I want to know. Are they, uh, let's see, I can't do that, no. Uh, what I can do is this. <laughs> what? Oh, that's bull. I call bull. You're not allowed to take that. That's whatever. They'll get through. I have no doubt in their ability. I think the balloon zombie's useless. The only thing threat-wise was those stupid shroom. That stupid shroom. Boom. And that's what he does. I don't even know why you'd use that. Yay, we steal half the fort. Woo! Totally nuts, because the balloon zombie is useless, but that's whatever. Me smash. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that's funny. Funny level. Um, hmm. Go over this.
Yeah, the Gargantuar will smash a sunflower and instantly achieve a uh, sun blast stuff, so. And he'll also smash the brain. Look at that face. Yeah. You know, it's funny if you actually use him enough, he'll actually either be holding a sign or another zombie as a smashing post, which is quite funny. Boom. And then we get victory. Gargantuar, way overpowered. As you see, oh wait, you didn't see it because my video recorder didn't record that moment. He smashes through two of my entire waves, so. Easy to kill, but you just have to know what you're doing. Ain't nothing here but a whole bunch of plant ears. Zom zombies. Yeah. Get some zombie disco up in here. <laughs> I can already tell the top rows are just getting, the top and bottom just gonna keep getting eaten. Or destroyed, whichever one's sooner. It's really convenient. Just gets rid of three rows right there. Booyah, son. Get wrecked. Yeah, you really only need the normal zombies. Maybe Disco Stew if you need him. I think you need him. Cool, because the line got pulled back an entire square. All right, let's see. That should be enough. And we have Disco Stew go up there. Why not? I think we're muted again. I don't know. It's probably a good thing. You'd probably be hearing his Disco Stew music, which probably would make the music. The noise I say, I keep telling you, go by myself. Either way, another disco stew, just because I can. I don't know, just because I can. It's zombie dance time. Yay, another diamond. We get my money back. All right, three hit wonder. Whoo! Wow. The bucketheads are here. I don't. Oh yeah, that worked. Okay. So I was gonna say I didn't think the shroom would catch the pail, but I guess he does. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I'll watch that zombie spaz out. And a buckethead should be able to get through this, but he'll at least get the sunflowers, which is what we really want. That shrooms will really be an issue if I didn't get rid of them, so. Bucketheads are pretty resourceful, if I recall. Um, now with that being said, we can probably place a few things like there. And wait to get some sun. And we'll place a digger in this row. He'll get through it. Eventually. Yeah, these are the imps. You may notice them from the Gargantuar 
the thing that hits what he throws. Wow. I can't tell whether that's a fail or a win. Alright, we'll play a nymph there. Uh, as soon as he get the digger gets killed, place that there. He'll get killed by the squash. Squash will back say what? And then boom. Just have the amps noms on it. They're pretty fast, so that's pretty good. Not a totally bad little critter. Yeah. Random guy. Not picking up anything, just going away. And voila. All your brains are belong to us. Um also my final thing, because we will do this, and then I'll be done, is if anyone can tell me the reference to that statement. All your brains are belong to us. Um, let's see. Wow, man, we got big old problem right here. I would have to say, if I had an opinion... Oh, uh, let's see. The digger, I don't think... I Can he get... You see, I don't know the magnet shrooms range, so... I don't know. Well... Let's, let's just go there. See how far he can get. Perfect. That is all I need. You should remove this stupid guy. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. And go to the middle row. And wipe that whole row right out. As long as that starfish isn't an issue. If it is, then I'm screwed. But it doesn't seem to be, so. Just send a bucket it that way. Do that. So anyone I some could go through there. We'll send a bucket head through there. Yeah, those two won't be able to kill both Buckethead and that zombie, especially with half of them hitting the normal the zombie. Yeah. Oh, scary shrew. Nom 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 him. Ooh. Digger got. KO'd, that's expected. Buckethead, we believe in you! Because if you don't win, I will destroy you. And that's all we wrote. Those two sunflowers will give me enough to get through this whole row with one digger. Probably do two imps to get rid of him. Yeah, you can't use a digger on those potato mines. They just blow up the first one he touches. Dig, 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 dig. A nasty little bite on the little buggers. So I hate them. I hate them so much. Oh, great. Two KO'd in one. Okay. Now, it's not that big of a deal. And voila. Guaranteed. Um, Buckethead, why not? There we go. Game over. Dang it. Who will make it first? 
I really think the imp will. Because he's got a little less to go. See, look at that. Boom. He just out goes them all, man. He's just gone. And Booyah achieved all our zombie campaigns. Booyah. And now we've unlocked Endless. Which I will probably do at a later note. Peace out. The screen monitors is 13.